Hello, Diana. Good night, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. A normal day, working a lot. The and usual. You, yeah, <laughs> as usual. I had home office today. I had home office day. Oh, so okay. it was a very quiet day, but it's work, so it's always a busy day. Always a lot of work, right? Yes. Some days are, are more full of work than others. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens when you work from home? What is the difference? Mm, I feel less productive. <laughs> <laughs> Too many distractions. Yes, I have everything near the fridge, <laughs> the the backyard. So it's like a distraction for me. The, mm -hmm. the, uh -huh, the refrigerator in the backyard, and I have my laptop. But in my office, I have two two screens for me, so it's more comfortable. To work mm. in the desk. I don't have the the correct space in my house. And in your house, you use a laptop or a computer or what? I use a laptop. Okay. And you say, ah, it's not the same, but it's why do you have to? It's not the same, but it, mm -hmm. it has its advantage because. I don't spend in gas. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper. That's true. But what about for, for example, uh, why do you have to work at home and not go to the office? Oh, and last vacation, Christmas vacation in mm -hmm. the work, and some coworkers got sick, and some familiars of the coworkers got positive to COVID-19 so mm -hmm. the office sent some of us the ones that we the ones that can work in an, in the office mm -hmm. and they send us to do home office and they they thought that it was a good idea to do it after every vacation so after last week I had to work in my house. For one week? For three days. Ah. Just expecting, yes. <laughs> it's not bad, three days. It's not bad, but last vacations were three to four weeks. Mm. And then semi semi presential. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, well, oof, there we go. We have Monica and Angelica. I'm glad to see you. Uh, how are you, Monica and Angelica? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How was your day? Mm, my day was really relaxing. I didn't have any troubles on work? Angelica, what do you do? I am a graphic designer. And you are a freelancer or you work for a company? I work from, I work for a factory. A factory? Yes, a fabric factory. And what do you, what do you design for them? Clothes. I design for them some patterns and some uh, publicity mm -hmm. for them. Okay. Huh. Well, 
work is work is not i don't normally think of of working in a factory for for your profession but okay <laughs> yes <laughs> it's really weird i think a little bit but okay hey it's good money is money and work is work all right so today we're going to first get started we're going to go ahead with our partners take a moment like i'm doing ask your partner I find out about their job, their profession, what do they do, it is normal, Have ask them follow-up, describe. For example, Angelica, what project are you working on? What was the last design? Diana, uh, what do you prefer of home office? Whatever, the idea is to talk with our partners and interact, okay? Any questions? No, teacher. No? All right. No
Okay, so I see we're doing pretty good. The first thing we're gonna start off now that we have our ideas about our partners and what they do and their professions, we're going to practice the questions from yesterday. Yesterday, we had two types of questions. We had questions with have, do you remember? For example, um, we had, here, let me put in the chat. As an example, have you ever gone surfing? Okay. Or we had questions with did. What was the difference between questions with have and questions with did? Questions with have talks about experiences and questions with did talk about a specific moment. Okay. Good. So we're going to start off questions with have. And then if your partner says yes, then you're going to go ahead and continue asking questions with did. Okay. In the chat, I made it easy so that all you have are the questions with have. Okay. So in the chat, you have a link so that you can look for questions with have. Okay. As an example, we have a question. Have you ever been in a fight. Oh, imagine this. <gasps> Vanessa, have you ever been in a fight? Oh, not fight. <laughs> Again, Vanessa? I am not fight. Okay, so good. Very remember, remember the answer is the same like the question. I have never fought the same way you ask, the same way you answer. I Always have. the verb in past participle. Okay. okay, good. So let's try with Wendy. Wendy, have you ever been in a fight? I have never. Exactly. And then you ask the other, oh, and then if your partner asks, or if your partner say yes to a question, oh, really? Wow. When did you fight? Why did you fight? Who did you fight with? Where did you fight? Ah, then we ask that did questions. Do you understand the difference? Have and did? Thank you, Wendy. I see only Wendy put the finger. Ah. Yes, teacher. Okay, so Mario, no. Mario is not clear. Eh, teacher, yo ya no estuve en la clase, entonces estoy medio perdido. <laughs> okay, Mario. <laughs> no. ah, Pero voy go. a comenzar a ver la, lo de la plataforma para más o menos entender. Okay, so let me explain, Mario. The okay. idea is we have two types of questions. We have questions with have and we have questions with did let me share the screen to try to help you for example here we use have and then we're using the word ever so okay so we always use this form have or has has for he she it we use have, subject, ever, the verb in the past participle, in the complement. The idea is, is for events, activities that happen in your life. This is have, is no time. Did is with a time. Time with a specific moment. Okay. So have you gone to Cancun? Yes. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. This, just I have the experience, or no, I don't have the experience. Then did is for specific information. Oh, when did you go? 
Why did you go? What? Then you ask for the, the specific information. But have is only the experience. Did is with the time. Let me close this one. It's okay, Mario? Okay, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so with our partners, we use the link in the chat to make the questions, and then we use the questions to continue with did, right? So open the link, okay? What is question number one? Look in the link, what is the question number one? Have you ever appreciated a sunset? Angelica, have you ever appreciated a sunset? Yes, I have. Ah, and where did you see the most beautiful sunset? The most beautiful sunset I I watched in Puerto de la Libertad. Hmm. And when did you see this beautiful sunset? It was in August. You see? At the vacations. Excellent. Thank you, Angelica. This is the idea. Question, follow up. Question, follow up. The other question, I have to invent. I have to ask Angelica the question, no look in the list. No, uh, number one, Angelica, have you? No, okay. Number two, have you ever? No, no, it's no question, question, question. It's conversation. We are ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Let's practice. What happened, Monica? Sorry, teacher. Estoy teniendo un poco de problemas con el internet y me saca de la de la clase. Okay, no problem, Monica. Let me try again. Okay. Okay, let's try again, Monica. Monica, it's okay or no? Thank you. 
Any questions? Yes, teacher, no entendí la segunda. Que decía si... ¿Cómo se llama? Ahorita le digo... Mi pregunta es, ¿Were you alone or which song is special? Let me see. Uh, Were you alone? Ah, ok. Ajá, no entendí a qué se está refiriendo. No, no leí mucha lógica. Este es mi detalle. Ok, no, no hay problem, no problem. ¿Qué es lo que entendís que te está preguntando? Si había estado solo o con alguien especial. Exacto. Eso es. Si te fijas, la pregunta anterior está salida. Y esa es una subpregunta o una pregunta que te apoya a la primera pregunta. Entonces, la primera pregunta. Ah, ok, ok. Entonces, en este caso sería de que si he visto una apuesta de sol. Exacto. Ajá. Y la respuesta sí es sí. Después, ah, habías estado con algún, con alguien o solito. Ah, exacto. Yes. Entonces, I had a. Uh, I... Ahí sería I was alone. I was with my mother. I was with my friend. I... Ahí sería con quién estuviste. Ah, okay. I was uh, mm -hmm. my person power special. <laughs> okay, y, thank you. Too. And you welcome. Igual para las otras preguntas, porque te fijas, hay otra que dice, por ejemplo, have you ever been? Uh -huh, ha, have you ever cried in public or embarrassed yourself? Pero la siguiente pregunta no es es simplemente continuar. Por eso que están inventado para que sea parte de la primera. Uh -huh. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for asking. Any other questions? No. No question, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to continue with the frequency of yesterday. Yesterday we saw the sequence, the sequence adverbs. If you remember, we saw the vocabulary first, then, next, after that, and finally. Okay. For example, we use first. We okay, let's try here. Okay. Do you remember why, why we use first? First is the number one, okay? So always we use the word first to describe the number one activity. We use finally to describe the last activity, like in the recipe. Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, so now we're going to practice the homework. The homework, remember, was the recipe. We have first and the ingredients. So what are we going to do? You are going to tell your partner the recipe. For example, here, we are going to listen to the example of what you are going to do, okay? Oil. Next, put in the curry. First. Okay, here's the example. This is really easy. Lo mismo que van a hacer con su pareja. No van a decir con cuál es la comida. Only describe the preparation, the process, and your partner have to guess what is the food. For example, listen. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Mm. Then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, Shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Ah, what was the food? Repeat, teacher, please. Repeat. Okay, repeat. Oil. Next. First, you put a little oil in a pan. Then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. Uh, what was the food? I, pop, popcorn. Popcorn, exactly. Popcorn. It was popcorn. And that's it. Popcorn. The same with your partner. With your partner, you have your recipe. You tell your partner the process first, then next, you mix the process, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Let's practice with our partner and then we practice together in the class. So this one is quickly. One moment. Mm -hmm.
Vale, yo qué. Tengo problema con el Inter. Hecho okay, que, Vane, no, no hay problema. Eh, Vane, ¿hiciste lo de la receta? No, no, teacher, no. No, no, no entrar ayer en la clase. Eso te iba a preguntar, ¿verdad? Que no entraste ayer para. para... No, ok, tranquila, no, no pasa nada, Vane. <ríe> te, voy a te voy a presentar lo que tenías que hacer para que lo puedas hacer para mañana. Ajá. Es 4.4. En 4.4, lo que vas a hacer es vas a buscar una receta, vas a, vas a usar el vocabulario que aprendemos, que es first, then, next, after that, finally, y vas a describir cómo se prepara esa comida. Pero no nos vas a decir cuál es la comida y los demás compañeros van a adivinar qué es. Uh -huh. Ahorita van a dar ellos el ejemplo para que vos tengas la idea para hacerlo para mañana. Ok, ticha. Solo okay. no anoté una. ¿O eso está en la plataforma? Está en la plataforma. 4-4. 4, -4. 4 oh, bye. Está bien. Ok. All right. You, Thank are you. We, you're welcome. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Who, is the, who is the first volunteer? Kevin, okay, Kevin, you ready? Okay, teacher, yes. I question teacher, este, eh, ¿cómo sería para, eso tenía dudas, cuando uno herbe agua, ¿en qué recipiente es en inglés? Ah, ok. Te lo voy a poner, ah, porque es un poco... Compañero, puse herbivore. Si es en uno específico para, para hervir agua, se llama kettle. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, okay Kevin. Give us the recipe y lo demás vamos a adivinar sí. qué estás cocinando. Sí. Sí. Eh, hay, eh, sería para echar agua, sería. Food, o hay otra palabra. Primero sería first. ¿Qué vas a hacer, verdad? First. Uh -huh. Y that. Uh -huh. Ok. First. Uh, uh, put a bell in the kitchen. Then. Uh, uh, put a water for five minutes. Then I have uh, put a meal, rice. En sugar por five minutos, then serve it en la cat y finalmente enjoy. I don't know. ¿Alguien puede adivinar qué es lo que está cocinando Kevin? No. 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 Kevin. What are you cooking? Arroz en leche, teacher. Ah, ok. Creo que ahí no me falta especificar ciertas. Ok, ok. No, no, no. Acordate, lo importante es usar el vocabulario, el cual usaste. First, then, next, finally. Eso es la clave. Ok, thank you, teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Solo creo que te confundiste con una palabra. Joe, escuché que dijiste kitchen. Yes. Kevin, ¿qué es kitchen? Eh, ¿Mara cocina? Ah, y ahí es el problema. Sí, Kevin. Kitchen es cocina, pero es cocina correcto en español, no, co no cocina salvadoreña. La cocina ah, salvadoreña, sí. ajá, la cocina salvadoreña es es estufa en español correcto. Entonces, por eso oh, cuando vos buscas cocina en Google, te salió kitchen. Pero, oh, ajá, oh, porque así, así lo decimos. Pero en inglés, la palabra que quería usar es stove. Oh, stove. Sí, oh, me imaginé oh, que eso era, pero mejor aclarar. Excelente. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. 
Kevin, select the next person. ¿A quién le ve gana de querer presentar? Ok, ahorita veo. Uh -huh. Mario. Mario, yo también le veo cara de querer presentar. All right, Mario. Ok, first, uh, prepare the floor dog and the grill. No sé si se dice así, grill. De. Grill. Es como grill. Uh -huh. Es como comal, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto. Okay. Así es, Next, uh, make the floor dog and wait for it to cook. After that, serve you know, on the on a plate uh, with sauce and pickled gavash. Mm. Uh, finally, treat. Pickled gavash, no sé si es curtido, porque encontré una palabra bien mero rara. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sí, más o menos. Es pickled gavash, pero se va a hacer, te lo voy a poner ahorita, slow. Slow. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. I have the idea. Yo, yo creo que eso es lo que está diciendo Mario. ¿Quién lo dice? ¿Quién lo dice? Curtido, Dios. Ah, ah, yo, yo, curtido ya sabe qué es. Sí. Mario, ¿y pupusas? Yes. Ah, muy bien. Mario, ¿y cómo aprendiste o qué palabra viste para decir rellenar con el queso, con los frijoles? ¿Qué, qué palabra? No, en, no encontré eso, por eso dije puse make the floor dog, o sea, el, como eso. hacerlo, pues no, no, no encontré como eso hacer me eso de relleno. Eso me imaginé, por eso que no lo escuché. Ahí mm -hmm. está en el chat, por cualquier cosa, es stuffed. Stuffed. Ajá, okay. es relleno. Stuffed, rellenar, Ajá. ok. Exacto, entonces, por ejemplo, vas a decir stuffed tortilla, stuffed with cheese, stuffed with beans, y ahí es, ahí es ese, ese proceso, stuffed. Okay. Stuff the floor down and correct. Is... Correct. Okay. Así es. Así es. Good. All right, okay. Mario. Thank you. You're welcome. Elegí a alguien que tenga la cámara apagada para que aprendan. Wendy. Wendy. Excelente. Tiene cara de querer participar. Excellent. All right, Wendy. Okay. For me, the first, you need a slice of bread and you put mayonnaise. Then you put lettuce, tomatoes, and slice the jam. And then you put ketchup and the second slice of bread. And really, you can eat. <laughs> Amanda, contame, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que está preparando right. Wendy? Ya encontré mi siguiente voluntario, huh, Amanda. All right, Angelica. What is Wendy preparing? I think it's a sandwich. Wendy is correct or no? It's correct. Yes. Excellent, Wendy. Excellent is correct. Solo hay una palabra que te equivocaste y la confundiste con jamón. Jamón no se dice jam, se dice con H, ham. Jam uh -huh. es jalea, ham es jamón. Ok. Excelente, Wendy. Amanda, Amanda. Hello, teacher. Ajá, allá apareció, ya regresó, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's, it's, I, I work. I, I have to work in this moment, but I, I, I listen the class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. ¿Y, y ¿Qué preparó Wendy? Uh, I, something with jam, with mm. ham. Mm. <laughs> a food with more? ham. Ajá, nos estamos escuchando. Ajá. A sandwich, a sandwich. <laughs> mm -hmm. A sandwich. <laughs> Amanda, are you ready? Puedes, porque yo sé que estás trabajando. Can you, uh -huh. can you, pre, can you explain your recipe? Mm, my recipe. Yes. Ah, ¿O no viniste a clase ayer, Amanda? Come on. Uh, yes, I, 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 I in class. But okay, I will prepare 
a no, 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 no vas a decir qué, solo vas a explicar el proceso y vamos a adivinar qué. Ah, ok. okay. Uh, the first, uh, we need uh, some water and put a um, uh, cooking for uh, around one or two minutes. Then uh, uh, it's necessary to add, uh, um, um, I know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and then it's necessary to put um, um, eh, es que si lo digo es espagueti no, 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 ya no, 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 ya no cuenta preparar no para cuenta. mañana Amanda te toca otro okay. que no sea espagueti Amanda, <risa> que no sea espagueti prepara otro ok Amanda, ¿quién te parece? Okay. Mario o Diana Mario uh, Diana Diana, uh, ok, Diana. I have first break two eggs into a bowl and shake with a fork. Then mix with salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, and onions. Next, stir in a preheat pan. In about two minutes, turn around and finally place on a plate and enjoy. Mm. Mario, ¿qué preparó Diana? No entendí. Ah, Diana, te toca de nuevo. Mario dijo que no entendió. Okay. First, break two eggs into a bowl and shake ah, them with a huevo fork. Revuel huevo revueltos. Diana, ¿es correct? It's close. It's close. I think, I think omelette. Pero, yes. Omelette. Uh, ajá, omelet. ajá, porque yo escuché como que le estaba eh, peppers en mm -hmm. calle. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, all right. Thank you, Diana. Good. Good vocabulary Thank first. You. Then, solo Diana, cuando estás dando recetas o procesos, trata de no usar la, la palabra dos veces seguidas. Está correcto, pero trata de no usar then y then en la siguiente otra vez. Usa then and next, after that. Así para que el proceso suena más natural, no solo then, then, then. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Excelente, Diana. Uy, ay, así que nos queda pendiente. Vanessa, Amanda, Mario, ¿qué más? No, ya es todo, ¿va? No, yo sí lo dije. Ah, no, no sé, hey, Vanessa, Amanda, ¿quién no lo dijo? Angélica. Ok, we have three for tomorrow. Ok, so tomorrow we prepare and we continue. Tomorrow we complete unit four. We complete unit four, ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. okay. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.